Hi, I'm Dave. This is a short video of a recent trip of a fishing trip that I took with my son-in-law. He just got his boat back from being painted and it was time to get it out into the water and try our luck. The boat is looking good with its new paint job. It used to be kind of a maroon color. The name is Hookin' and Bookin'. Hookin' is obvious, it's a fishing boat. Bookin'? Well, my son-in-law is a retired police officer, and if you look closely at the word bookin', the double O is a set of handcuffs. Pretty clever. This video was meant to be one to show the wives about the fishing trip, but then I thought about it and I said, well, what the heck, I'll post it. It was edited on the way home after the trip in the truck. So it is what it is. So here we are out on the ocean, out looking for halibut. We're heading that way. We just cleared the harbor and it's pretty, well, relatively rough right in here. Um, it will smooth out later on, but uh, right now we're, well, here's the shock absorbing seats that uh, Jason just installed on in the boat. I don't know how well you can see it, but these seats are really bouncing. They're real, real nice. So here it is. We have the computer that uh, the Lawrence guidance system that gets us all the way through uh, where we need to be. And we're on an autopilot. So now it's just, look, no hands. The boat is steering itself. It will be in the fishing area very soon. It's really leveled out. It's kind of rough, but it's a lot better than it was. So we made it into the fishing area and uh, Jason is starting to uh, bait up our hooks and uh, get us ready to go fishing. This is my first time that I've done this, so I don't really know the, uh, well, I don't really know how to uh, go about doing this as far as halibut fishing. He's the expert on this. So anyway, these are um, pretty big um, bait fish here for, uh, for I mean, you can, we use them for salmon and for other things like that, but this is this is about the biggest ones you can get for uh, bait fish of uh, this kind for uh, the um, for the fish that we're going after. So there's a whole lot of uh, I guess silly string it's called that uh, wraps this whole thing together, and then you put a squid in there and. Uh, wrap all that in there and it's supposed to make some delectable uh, can't resist thing for the uh, for the fish and uh, well it sometimes works I guess and it sometimes doesn't anyway it makes quite a package when it's all said and done and then you have to add a little bit of the uh, special juice uh, on top of that to uh, make sure that it all smells good and down we go now, this is counting uh, meters so that is going down to 80 and uh, 90 and 100 meters 110 and it stops at 116 meters, which is, uh, uh, what, about 350 feet, something like that. That's how deep we're fishing. Okay, that was one of the uh, rods on uh, one side. Now we repeat the whole thing for the uh, opposite side. We get that one all juiced up with the smell real good. What is it? Garlic's, garlic thing or something like that, I think it is. I guess fish like garlic. So here's the uh, reel going down on the other side. With that weight on there, boy, it doesn't take long to get to the bottom. It gets down there in a big hurry. It stops at the bottom 
and uh, bring it back in just a notch to uh, get it just right at the very bottom and that's where the halibut are or supposedly are anyway so now we're all set with two uh, rods and uh, both of them are in place and all we get to do now is sit back and go fishing well, it didn't take long before Jason reeled in a fish. Uh, it wasn't a halibut, it was a rockfish. Actually, he was just reeling back in and he thought it felt kind of funny, like there really was something there. Anyway, that's Jason's first catch of the uh, day. That's the, uh, that's the rockfish. Uh, the rockfish got to go back and live with the other rockfish. His second catch of the day was not a rockfish, but oh, that a, rock a fish? real a rock rock. Fish. Yes, exactly what that is. real rock. I don't know how it got up on the hook, but that's what he landed. A big old rock. But that wasn't our only catch of the day. Here comes a halibut. It's a halibut? Yes, we did catch a halibut. It was a baby halibut, but it was a halibut, and they all taste good, no matter what. So there was a decision uh, as to whether I was going to keep it, uh, because they, he left that decision to me. We put it on the measuring stick, and it came out to about 27 inches uh, long, and usually, those things get thrown so back, got a... but not this time. It was my first halibut, and the way things were going, it uh, looked like it was going to be our only oh. halibut of the day. And of course, so now you just as it turned out, you want to keep it, or not? it was. So we came home with halibut See, it's from the fishing trip. We just don't today. mention too loud about what okay. size it really was. But there it is, and it's going to taste mighty, mighty good. That's where the phone battery died, and we didn't have a charging cord on board. We had halibut for dinner when I got home the next day, and boy, was that good. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.